everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everybody is doing amazing and having a great week. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see and you'll consider subscribing. I post a lot of diamond painting content, well, basically all diamond painting content to include unboxings, post reviews, a few whipping chats here and there. I try to mix it up, but I do do a lot of unboxing and product review. And if you've been back before, thank you for coming and hanging out with me again. So we have an unboxing and unbagging today. And this is from Uniquely Yours Down Under. Now, I was kind of confused when I got this because the packaging was different, which is not a bad thing. But um, I was kind of curious and I was like, where did this come from? So I definitely had to open it up and take a peek, which I already did. So... This has come in your typical uh, plastic bag type thing, which I already cut um, so I could get the uh, product out. Oh, some goodies. It also comes in this protective bubble mailer, which I absolutely love. And I usually keep these and repurpose them. But let me get my scissors out. So, about a month or so, but more than that, probably closer to two months now, um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith um, was so kind and she released a bunch of her images for public use. And if you wanted to donate to her, you could. I'm trying so hard, I do not wanna cut this. So inside this bow mailer, you do get your foam rollers and things like that. So that is very cool. So this is gonna be kind of like awkward as I'm talking to you because I just wanna get all of the goodies out. So I really like that for do first off, right off the bat. It is sectioned off right here. So there were some goodies on the side and then the painting is right over here. So I'm trying to, here we go, get the tape so I can just cut the tape. But anyway, um, she released them on her website and so you know i downloaded a ton because i was like well who knows who if any of these companies are going to pick any of these images up and there was a ton that i absolutely love and so i did that but then lo and behold some of the companies did pick some of them up and one of them was uniquely yours down under and i jumped at it because one of my favorite ones was on there so that's what this is so here's our kit right here. It is poured glue. It comes on a foam roller and there is tape. It, don't worry, masking tape's not gonna hurt it. Here are our drills. I did get around. Ooh, look at all them black ABs. All right, what did I get? I got Sonora, the Egyptian princess right here. Um, another person that got this and unboxed it a while ago was Christopher Colossa. Um, so you can see the two of us have great taste. So let's look at our goodies first. So uniquely yours down under, they are from Australia. Um, great company, um, great vision. Um, what's the word I'm looking at? Integrity, ethical, love them. Um, and so I really like supporting them. If you guys remember way back, I had a video that I did a custom um, Bob Doucette was so kind as to let me use his portrait of um, Martha P. Johnson to get as a custom. So I was like totally honored and over the moon about it. And there is that huge journey that I took and they were amazing every step of the way. And I'll go ahead and link that up in the eye in case you have missed it. So what do you get when you receive a package from Uniquely Yours Down Under. Well, first they send you a great little pen. So on top of uh, your standard toolkit, you also get an acrylic diamond painting pen with a, no, this has gotta be a nine placer right here. So this really pretty pink one is very comfortable. It's not too thick. Um, you got your single brass tip right here and then you've got your nine thick placer right here. So this is really, really nice. A little bit upgraded from your standard um, pink pen that you get. 
Then, this is new from the last time. You get this um, cloth bag, kind of like the same cloth that the face masks are made out of. And inside, you get a boat, two, two boats right there with a spout. You get an orange squishy. You get a plate of wax. You get a little uh, container with some blue wax, which I love. And then you get some angled tweezers right here. And then your st standard diamond painting pen. It's a nice upgraded toolkit. Everything that you need to diamond paint. I absolutely love it. We'll stick that in there for safekeeping and put this off to the side. Let us get into our canvas. Like I said, the masking tape, it will not do any harm. It just keeps it rolled up. It's on the plastic cover. And hopefully I can get it off all in one. Uh, well, I couldn't get it off all in one, but oops. Good gravy. That's okay. We'll just sit here and watch Marina struggle with some masking tape. And the masking tape, the good thing about masking tape, it does not leave um, sticky residue. Just be careful that when you're pulling it off the plastic cover that you don't pull it the opposite way and it pulls it back off of your poured glue. All right, well, I got, there we go. I got it all off. So I'll just stick that in my pants for right now. So right up at the top, it's got, the name of it, she's a 60 by 80 centimeter. There's her name, Sonora, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And then it just gives some little um, instructions right here. And then we have a little thumbnail right here. Now there are uh, lots of different types of canvases that you can get. You can get your standard canvas. You can get that soft lint back canvas. Um, I just got the standard canvas. This has got like very nylon-y, um, which I prefer. Um, it's a little more forgiving, especially on long trips. Now, this is going to be, um, I don't know. Let me try and roll it the opposite way. It's very pliable kind of um, kit or paint or canvas, I should say, but I'm not gonna be able to roll this back. So let me just show you and then we'll pull it back, pull back the edges. So she is very large right here, as you can see. And let me try to get her to no, lay that way. So I'll have to roll it. And we're gonna have to take quite a tour of her. Now I had to watch Chris, I should have waited to be surprised, but I really wanted to see what Christopher had gotten and if it was the same as me and it was. So we're gonna start up at the top and I'm just gonna pull, uh, gently pull the plastic. This is a thinner plastic covering, but if you just pull it back very gently, it will relieve some of the tension that was on there after being rolled up along the foam roller for so long. And as you can already see, it's kind of laid flat. So bear with me just a little bit so I can put it back on here because you know that I'm still not good at this after all, see, that already got stuck on there. All righty. So let me roll it back up right here. So right here, you can see there are, they're not, they're not, uh, they're labeled on here. So I'll tell you how many colors there are when I get the inventory out. So you have one legend in your upper right or upper left. And then you have another one down in your lower right. The cool thing is that you have a total of two thumbnails and I forgot to show you guys this cute little branding at the top uniquely down yours down under with the country of Australia right there I love Australia I was lucky enough to spend six weeks up in the Northwestern Territory in at Tyndall Air Force Base when I was on deployment and I have been to Darwin a few times or like three times. We'd go like every weekend. It was like three hour drive. It was like totally worth it. I had the absolute best time there. I absolutely loved it. There is this gas station there in downtown Catherine and they had the best French fries with this chicken salt seasoning. 
was to die for. Anyway, you guys don't care, don't care about that. Let's look at how beautiful she looks. So right off the bat, it is, you know, her envision, her version, basically, it looks like Cleopatra. The look on her face, like, says mood, right? She looks incredibly, like, bored, like, can I help you? And I love it. I love the background. Um, this is so confetti heavy. Oh, Lord Jesus. I like the trees in the background. Um, Christopher is not huge on those muted brown sandy colors. I like them. But I think it's going to look even more amazing because you've got these bright pops of color right through here in her eyeshadow. And with her eyes, you've got a little bit in the lips right here. And then as we go down further, you can see her kitty cat right here. And he or she literally has the same look on their face. Like mood and can I help you? I love that they have basically matching necklaces on. I love that there is some color in the chair that she is sitting on. I'm going to um, pull the plastic back here. This laid down so so nice. So I really am happy with that. I think it was a smart choice for me to go um, and with the, with the normal canvas. So let's check the stickiness real quick. Okay, it is sticky. It is sticky, sticky. That's awesome. And the symbol clarity looks really good. So I'm going to try and bring it up. Hopefully with no glare so you guys can see. Great symbol clarity on the white parts. On the darker parts, it is clear, but I am going to need a light pad. Um, I like that there are light symbols on the darker areas and vice versa. It will make it much easier to see and work up. I do appreciate that there is some color blocking in this. Oh, there's a huge air bubble right there. What do you guys think? There are a few other ones that I like as well, but those are going to have to get put on hold for a while. And I do believe that these are made to order as well. It took approximately, um, a month to five weeks for me to get her from the time I purchased. Um, there was the New Year, Chinese New Year and everything. But it was totally worth the wait for me. I was in no rush. I have plenty of stuff to keep me occupied and tons of stuff going on. Isn't she amazing? I love, oh my God, I love her face. Um, I love Jasmine Beckett with this art. It's just amazing. So let us take a look at these drills. It's a big old thing of drills right here. I'm gonna kind of put you down like that a little bit. So they do come pre-bagged. I know not everyone is team baggy, but I am. So that makes me really, really happy. Now, it. I wanna tell you guys, if you go choose to order, right, um, it is a little confusing at first because the prices that, even though there's an, a regular dollar sign like we're used to seeing, those prices are in Australian dollars. So when you go to check out and, or it hits your bank account, there is a difference and it will come to whatever the US dollar is. I mean, you can also figure it out with Google, but don't let those prices scare you because, um, they're not, those that's, the prices are in Australian dollars. So here's our inventory right here. There are 45 colors to include three ABs and we will take a look at those. Here's our thumbnail right here. And you can cut that out and put it in your logbook. I'm probably gonna make a photocopy of it and blow it up just like a little bit, I think. And then right here, it just tells you a little about the company. There's the branding and again, the name of your canvas right here. So if you choose to store things separately, um, you'll be able to find everything. So it says, brand, hello, dear friends. Welcome to our shop. We are so happy to meet you at here. Our company hopes that you can get fun from DIY products. And then it just gives step-by-step -step instructions. It says, and then says what you can do with it um, when you are finished.
Yeah, and that is it. So it also, so it gives you um, the symbols right here, which I see there's like only one number. So it's a mixture of number, letters, and symbols. You've got your DMC codes right along here. And then also has the amount of diamonds in each bag right here. So let us see. I see one AB right here. So we will grab that. That's AB321. And then we have the 310 and 3766. So I've got to find that. For 310 was super, super easy. You guys, that is a bag of 310 AB. I think this is the biggest bag of ABs I've ever gotten. Now let me look for this other one real quick. My diamonds are kind of mismatched around, probably from coming all the way from Australia to California. So just give me a second so we can go through these. Oh my God, where is it, where is it? You would think it would pop right out right at me. Lots of browns. You guys will take a look. Some really pretty browns. And oranges right here. I love, they kind of give off like a fall vibe. We've got some greens. Here it is. I found it. I found it with a little stowaway in there. But check these out. Check these uh Got these greens. I absolutely love it. Here's another one. The drills are look really, really good. I'm not seeing any static in the bag. You know, rounds are a little more forgiving as far as trash goes. Oh, and then look, we've got this nice, I like this little be this beige color right here. There are a few affiliates around as well. I know from Angie, she shares a Facebook group with Christopher, um, Angie's Diamond Moments or something like that. Or something like that. Um, I'll go ahead and link her down below. Um, she is a Uniquely Yours Down Under affiliate. I think Grace is also a Uniquely Yours Down Under affiliate. So they are out there. Go ahead, use their codes if you would like to save some money. All right, I'm going to stick those over here. So we have our huge bag of 310 ABs right here. We have 321 right here was this, this pinkish red. And then we have a little bit of this AB3766 right here. So let's flip her back over and see where they go. I already know where one of them goes because I set out Christopher's video, but I can't remember where the other ones go. And here comes Levi because he thinks he's probably going to get a treat, but he is not. So the AB3766 is kind of like a, Kind of looks like an ear it has like a little like line that goes like that with a dot so let me try and find where that could possibly go because i i don't know where i would go i do not know if you guys see it before i do let me know let me know okay it's not in the necklace at all oh i see one Okay, so it's going to be a little bit in the one in each cat eye. There's one right here. And I want to say that the rest of it, yep, yeah, they're in the eyes and a little bit in our eye shadow. So not very much at all. Then we have 321, which was that symbol. The legend symbols, like the, the, le the numbers I'm really cool, okay with, but the symbols are kind of hard to see. So I want to say that's an upside down U. So I want to say it's in her lips right here and then a little sprigs up in her eye shadow. And that's it right there. And then the 310 is a Y. So all of her hair, except for like up here and some shadowing in it, is all 310. Back here is all 310 because that's kind of like the back of her hair. Here are her earrings. Um, 
There is some on the kitty cat, all in the back of the cat right here, down the cat's tail, right here in around the eyes and on top of the head. And then there is some down here at the bottom. And then some kind of over here. Now, I love 310 AB. However, I also believe there is a place, a time and place for a 310 AB, depending on what the canvas may be. Um, yes, I am incredibly thankful. You need to wait. Incredibly thankful for all these ABs. I love them. However, I'm not sure how they're going to look in her hair or on the cat because they do give off, as Lindsay from uh, Emeralds and Fairy Lights say, they kind of look like fly eyes because it's got that mother of pearl like iridescent coating on it. So I think that in her hair, it might look a little um, weird. I don't, I think it might throw off the painting because of all those subtle colors in the backgrounds and the whites and everything. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys also that some of this red right here does go on the side of the chair. So I think that will look really pretty as well. Maybe I might throw a little bit on the cat and mix it up a little bit. Do you mind? You need to wait, Levi. I'm sorry, you guys. So I'm not quite sure. I mean, I might throw a little bit over here in the back, but I think that might, you know, I don't think that's part of her chair. I just think that's in the background. I don't know how to look down here or even over here. So I just might use regular black. Um, I have a lot of it in my stash or I might sprinkle some of it in. I'm not one for having to go back and take them out. So I might consult with Christopher and see how, if he has even started working on this or what his thoughts are. I might, I'll probably put some in the cat though. All right, you guys. So that is it for my kit from Uniquely Yours Down Under. Again, this is Sonora from Jasmine Beckett Griffith. She is one of my favorite images, and thank you to Jasmine for releasing so many of your beautiful images to the public for a personal use. Thank you to Uniquely Yours Down Under for snatching up some of my favorite images from her. Um, I'm really excited. I'm not sure when I will get to work on her. I would like to do it this year, but then again, never know. So, she is a... What did I say she was? A 60 by 80 centimeter round with the 52 colors, I believe. Yep. Oh, 45 colors. It looks like so many more. 45 colors with three ABs. I will link this down below in case you guys are interested, along with Angie's channel. Um, so that way you can go on there and her code, I can't, I can't remember what her code is, but I'll let her give it to you. I don't want to be putting her information out there like that. All right, you guys, that is it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you like her? Are you a Jasmine Beckett Griffith fan? Let me know. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to let you go. And until the next video, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.